This is a demonstration of the new Lingwaves voice protocol made by Weavesis in Germany. It's a quick and easy way to record and analyse a standard voice assessment, including all the standard tasks plus running speech. There's also a real SPL screen, which gives visual feedback of pitch, SPL loudness and duration for further assessment or for use in treatment tasks. It uses a quality sound pressure level microphone for accurate decibel readings and has its own sound card in the USB connector cable so you never need to calibrate. Always turn on and plug in your microphone before you start Lingwaves and then check your microphone settings in Options. Go to SPL Meter and make sure it's connected to a COM port. If not, you scan. Now check the recording levels. Go to Options and Record Line. Say, ah. You want to make sure it registers, but you don't want it to go into the red. Ah. That's too loud. Ah, ah, ah. Now we find our client in Client Manager and we can search by name or by file number. You can use your own medical record numbers if you like. Start a new session and start a voice protocol session. The first screen we see measures the S to Z ratio and the maximum phonation time. So you ask your client to say S for as long as they can, Z for as long as they can and then a vowel R. We record with this button. Now we have our recordings and now we need to label them. So we highlight the first one which was the S and label it with an S. Then we highlight the second one which was Z. Label that one and then we highlight the phonation of R and label that MPT for ma maximum phonation time. We make sure it's set for adult and female. And it shows that my maximum phonation time is less than normal. Maximum phonation time and duration of S. My S to Z ratio is within normal limits. Um, the, color, the colors show you whether they're normal or not. Now the next screen we go to is the pitch screen and on this screen we measure voice quality during a four second phonation and we also measure pitch range with a glide from the client's lowest pitch to their highest 
pitch going up into falsetto or the head voice now we're going to record one we just select two seconds of that and we label it with that R symbol it measures your voice quality it shows irregularity with which corresponds to roughness in your voice and it shows noise which corresponds to breathiness in your voice and it also gives jittering shimmer measurements um, the score is out of three and the green colouring shows that I was normal. Now we label the pitch glide. What we really need from this for our DSI measurement on the next screen is the highest pitch. We label it glide. And it'll give you my pitch range in semitones, 27 semitones, and in hertz, 600 hertz, maximum, min minimum. And you get your fundamental frequency from the previous measure of your R. And it shows a trend with the different dates that I've um, done the voice protocol to show you progress. The next screen is the DSI screen. I'll go to that now. And on this screen we need to record the lowest loudness. This is because we already have the highest frequency, maximum phonation time and jitter measurements. And so to calculate a DSI or dysphonia severity index, the only measure we now need is lowest loudness. I'm going to record a, a phonation from normal loudness to the softest voice I can get without whispering. Uh... Stop that recording. Then we'll label it lowest loudness, minimum loudness. Um, it recorded 50 decibels. And so, so now it's been able to work out a dysphonia severity index for me of 5.26, which is above the normal, which is 4.4. And it's also worked out a severity level of five which is normal so this is a very useful outcome measure the next screen is the text screen and this is where we record the client while they read the rainbow passage and it shows us the voice range so I use the record button here and it will show me the rainbow passage. When the sunlight strikes raindrops in the air, they act as a prism and form a rainbow. The rainbow is a division of white light into many beautiful colours. These take the shape of a long round arch with its path high above and its two ends apparently beyond the horizon. There is, according to legend, a boiling pot of gold at one end. People look, but no one ever finds it. When a man looks for something beyond his reach, his friends say he is looking for the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. We stop the recording, and then it analyzes it and gives us a voice range profile. It shows us 
the SPL loudness in decibels on the vertical axis and the pitch on the horizontal axis in hertz and corresponding to a piano keyboard. It also gives us the figures for the, the voice range, the pitch ranges in hertz and in semitones and the loudness and the dynamic range and it shows a trend on the different dates when we've reassessed the client. And that concludes the formal part of the assessment and from here we always save our work or it will always prompt us to, to save when we go to close it as well. Now we want to print a report so we go to the print, print icon and we can look at it if we go to preview and this prints a comprehensive report of the whole of the, the voice protocol assessment. So you'll see all our measurements and results in here and when we're happy with that we print This is the real-time screen from the Lingwaves voice protocol and it measures pitch, SPL loudness and duration in real time. Um, so it's useful for your own assessments and also in treatment tasks for client biofeedback and for measuring progress on treatment tasks. Um, it's useful, you can actually set your goals for loudness so the client can see whether they're within their goals. I'm just going to demonstrate a couple of pitch glides for you. Uh, can have a look at the traces, the sound waves, and we can see the duration here in milliseconds up the top. Um, so 5.57 seconds for that phonation and you get your figures for your maximum pitch and your pitch trace is in green and your loudness trace is in blue and you can see that I managed to increase my volume for the second phonation. And the second phonation went for 5.9 seconds. So it gathers a lot of useful information for you and gives the client a good idea of how they're doing. So that's the last screen in the Lingwaves Voice Protocol and I hope you enjoyed it.